expecting you. Yes, please. Take a seat. Sorry. Desk move there. How are you today? Good, good. It looks like I had you on the schedule today for a birth control consult. Um, was there a particular one that you wanted to talk about? Um, did you want to know a little bit about a few of them? Or where, where were you thinking right now? You know for sure you want the next one on, okay? And you've never used the next one on before, right? That's what I thought. Just wanted to make sure. Now, uh, history of birth control before this visit. Have you tried anything else? Okay. You also wanted to get it inserted today. Okay, you came in on a mission, I see. So, of course, I just want to review um, the standard stuff that you should know about Nexplanon. I know you told me you did your research, but I just want to make sure that we're both on the same page and that you know 100% um, what you're essentially signing up for when you choose the Nexplanon. But I think that is a great, great form of birth control. Um, and we're going to talk about kind of what you're looking for as far as birth control goes, um, what, you know, you'd be happiest with, so we will get there. I just wanted to confirm that there have been no changes to your pharmacy or address. Awesome. And no changes to your insurance on file. Good. All right. And then as far as any new medications that you're on. Okay. Still a non-smoker? Okay. And when was the first day of your last menstrual period? You're on it right now. I can tell you did your research. Yeah, we would have preferred that you be on it when you insert it. So let me see real quick if I have the devices in stock. I do have a couple of the next one on devices for you, so that is good. And then just to confirm with the system here, we do not have any allergies to iodine, lidocaine, antibiotics in general. Okay. All right. Okay. So. What I'm going to do then is if we decide to go through with the next one on insert, then of course we'll transfer you, your, uh, transfer you rooms to the medical exam room. We'll get the procedure set up. Now, general things to know about next one on. Um, it is definitely becoming more popular, I'd say, as the years go on, and it is by far the most effective form of birth control outside of tying your tubes, around 99.2.3% effective. Um, a great, great form as a means of protecting you from pregnancy. To be honest, um, I've seen people get pregnant on other forms of birth control, but I have yet to see someone get pregnant with the next one. Yes, exactly. Now, I just need you to remind me um, real quick. Your cycles, are they every month? About 28 day lengths, okay. And when you get your period, how long does it normally last for? Okay. And is it super heavy or super painful at all? Okay. So, one of the big things I always tell people about Nexplanon is it is what we call a progestin-only hormonal birth control, meaning that it has no estrogen in it. So with that being said, the way it works is it increases your cervical mucus, um, basically, you know, changes up the environment, making it difficult for sperm to travel, as well as potentially stopping ovulation. Now with that being said, a lot of times with Nexplanon, your periods may get a little bit weird or your bleeding patterns may change, meaning that instead of bleeding every month, you may stop bleeding altogether, what they call amenorrhea, so you have to be okay with no longer getting periods. Okay, 
The other thing that may happen, and I would tell you it's probably the biggest reason someone doesn't end up liking Nexplanon, is because they may fall in the smaller subcategory of being a patient who bleeds at very random times. Sometimes this bleeding or spotting could potentially last for weeks. It's just hard to know for sure what your particular circumstance will be. So um, you understand that irregular bleeding can be a common side effect. All right. You remove that or honestly you may notice that you still get a bleed every month but it just might be a little bit lighter than what you're used to so um, a lot of times most people um, don't get periods anymore and small chances like I said people will get irregular bleeding that could potentially last much longer than what would be ideal but as long as you understand those things and I'd say we're pretty good to go there now with it being a progestin containing hormonal birth control um, other possible side effects that you may experience are mood changes, increase in acne, headaches, or potential weight changes. Did you read up on those at all? You understand all of that? Awesome. Now, the Nexplanon is good for three years. Um, there have been some side studies done at Planned Parenthood that say that it could be effective for up to five years. However, Nexplanon, the uh, uh, company itself is still going by the three-year mark, so that is what we will do. Um, and it becomes pretty effective right away. I would probably use a backup birth control method though the first few weeks of having it in just to be on the safe side. And of course, you understand that this does not protect you against any STDs or STIs, right? Yes, so you'll always want to use condoms. All right, and you are on your period. You are not allergic to uh, lidocaine or iodine or anything like that. Just triple confirm with you. All right. Now, the insertion itself is pretty fast and straightforward. What we are going to do is we are going to want to insert the next one on in the least dominant arm, whether it's your right or your left, and we are going to be inserting it um below the biceps and triceps groove of where they meet so it'll probably be more so in your tricep area the nice thing about nexplanon is you're able to kind of monitor the position of it you should always be able to feel it okay yes risks to the insertion or the procedure or having a nexplanon device in your arm could be bruising infection as well as migration meaning the nexplanon moves deeper or move somewhere else in your body. Now, um, one thing again people like about Nexplan is you're normally able to feel it. So if at any point you can no longer feel it, you have to let us know, okay? Awesome. All right, well, let me get a consent form written up here. I'm just, whoop, I'm just gonna get your signature and then we'll go ahead with the insertion today as long as you know you understand everything and that I've answered all your questions and all of that, okay? So this is kind of like a standard consent note, sort of lists everything regarding Nexplanon as far as the risks. And I'm going to walk you through the whole procedure, so we'll make sure all of that is good. Alright. What I'm going to have you do, if you don't mind, is just sign an initial there. Thank you. All right. So what I'm going to do then is I am just going to guide you over here to the medical exam room and then we will get you prepped for your procedure. No, it is absolutely my pleasure. I am so glad that you did that research because it definitely brings you a lot more confidence when getting it right. Yes, absolutely. All right. So um, let's get you prepped up, shall we? Awesome. Okay, follow me. All right, it looks like you're all situated. Before we do the procedure of the next one on insertion, I'm just going to take your blood pressure, okay? Awesome. Since we already have your arm laying here, we'll do the other one.
through this whole insertion process, it'll be a lot faster than you think. If you watched a few videos online, you are probably you probably know more about Nexplon and everything than I do at this point. I love that. Alright, let me get this off so we can focus here on your arm. So gloves on. And before we get started on the procedure, can you please confirm your first and last name and date of birth? Perfect. Alright, let's get this going for you here. So, what I want to do is just a general skin assessment and figure out where we're going to Kind of get everything inserted here. Alright, no obvious bruising or anything like that. Area looks very healthy. No inflammation or sign of allergic reaction at all thus far. Alright, and you please let me know if at any point you're uncomfortable, okay? Good. Alright, so I am just going to press around here and then we're going to mark the area. So we get a good general idea of the groove and then we want to go a certain distance away. here with the pen. And then we're going to make a second mark here. Alright. Very good. Just make sure we're happy with that site. This is where it'll be located. Are you okay with that? that if you have friends that have next one on it may, your next one on may be a bit lower than theirs and that's because you know a few years ago they actually changed the site of insertion so i don't want that to make you panic at all okay good good all right so what we're gonna do first is i am just gonna cleanse the area here go in with alcohol as well as iodine Cleaning the area that we're gonna insert everything in. And of course, you also let me know if you feel lightheaded. You know, some people with procedures, they just don't feel the greatest. Could be the nerves, could be other things. So just keep me posted. Hopefully this will be the most relaxing insertion you'll ever have. Okay. Next, we're gonna go in with some gray dot solution. Again, just to kind of clean the skin here. So that the environment we're working in is stable, stable, sterile, don't mind me. Do you have any plans after this?
Now the next part here is when we take a lidocaine needle and you'll feel probably a pinch um, and a little bit of stinging, but this is what will make you numb for the remaining part of the procedure, okay? So this will essentially take away any of that sensation. If anything, during the insertion, you may feel pulling, tugging, and pressure, but you should not feel any pain. that a little bit to just kind of sit and do what it's supposed to do and then I am going to do like a, a poke test and I need you to tell me um, if something feels sharp or if you don't even you know, just tell me if you feel something yes purposes of simplicity here all right what I'm gonna have you do is I want you to close your eyes and I want you to let me know when you feel something okay We're going to give it a little bit more time to work. We are not inserting any device unless you tell me that you just don't feel anything, okay? Cool. Okay, close your eyes again. Let's try this again. Looks like it's working now. Would you say so? Yeah, you didn't feel any of that? Awesome. That's how we know you're all ready to go. All right. So, um, do you want anything to squeeze onto for your other hand? <laughs> do you want Sally or Spermius Respons? Sally. Okay. There you go. All right. Well, let's get this started then. This is what the applicator looks like, okay? And then there's a little bendy flexible rod that is sitting in this applicator. Like I said, right now you're gonna feel a lot of pressure and a little bit of tugging, but you should feel no sharpness, no pain, nothing like that. Are you ready? Awesome, Alrighty, here we go. I'm gonna insert the device underneath the skin. Almost there, almost there. in no yeah seriously it's that fast you did absolutely fantastic let's see all right let's get a little bit of gauze in here i'm just going to keep applying pressure to this site just to reduce bruising later on um, Lee, the medical assistant, is going to come in and give you more proper wrapping as well as care instructions when you go home. Of course, if any signs of infection, you give me a call, you come back in. Um, and like I said, you should always be able to feel it. It is nice and superficial right here. Um, and then just keep an eye on it, you know, over the next few months, making sure that you always feel it, that it doesn't move. If you realize after a few months that the next one on is just not working well for you, you don't like the side effects, you are by no means ever um, prohibited from taking it out. So I will take it out whenever you need me to if you decide that it's actually not the form of birth control for you. Yeah, no, absolutely, that's my job. All right. Let's 
let's get this banded on for banded band-aid. What is wrong with me today? Let's get this on for you here. Are you feeling okay? Good, yeah, no, you did absolutely fantastic. Alright, let's keep that there for now. I am also going to give you this. This is just an explanation information. This is what the rod looks like that's sitting in the arms. So you're able to kind of feel it, see the size. Um, you'll be able to see an example of what it should feel like underneath your skin. And then this gives you very important patient education all about the next one on for you. So I am going to close this up and I will give this to you. And then Lee, the medical assistant, will finish your wrapping on your arm, okay? Oh, it was absolutely my pleasure. Um, and like I said, any questions, any concerns, you give me a call. But you did fantastic. Yep, no problem. All right, I'll um, uh, get out of here and then Lee will come in to wrap up your arm. For sure. Enjoy the rest of your day.